Gonna bring an eye, Brazil, what a gun, boy, Gruta, Dama, Yayo, Mamulu, Jayo, Kanjao, Jayo, Matama, Dama, Yayo, and your 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 Yanning is the language of the crocodile islands. The word yan means tongue or language, and the word nangu means here or this. Literally and metaphorically, it is the language of here, of the crocodile islands. It is one of the most highly endangered languages in the world. Well, this language is the Yanangu language of the crocodile islands. And if nothing is done immediately, this language will disappear within the next 20 years. There are only 20 speakers of Yanango left in the world. Yeah, I speak a little bit that uh, Yanango. That's my um, my mother's my mother's language. The Yanango people of the seas and crocodile islands are the guardians of the linguistic and biodiversity of the region. Their language and knowledge of the islands are the creation of thousands of years and countless generations of intimate coexistence with the seas and islands of this place. The language of the ancestors is a vehicle for and repository of an encyclopedic understanding of how to manage their maritime resources in a sustainable way. The Yanango are custodians of an area of sea encompassing more than a thousand square kilometres of sacred sites that are the foundation of a Yanango worldview. The Yanango look after the many breeding and nesting sites of the endangered species of the islands, the homes of the turtles, birds, and the dugongs. <laughs> For the Yanangu, an overarching framework of mythological journeys links the ecosystems and cycles of the tides and seasons in and around the islands. The environment and all the living creatures and phenomena are linked together by an intricate pattern of kinship relations, tying everyone and everything into a complete view of the world. An everywhere. When everyone has a part to play. An important part of this ongoing obligation to care for country is the practice of the unique ritual and ceremonial rites of the ancestors. These rights protect the intimate biological and cultural diversities that make up the mutually reinforcing and independent systems that cannot be conserved without recognising the human cultures that shape them. The infinite variety of the natural world provides the raw material for cultural inspiration, meaning and practice. Since the beginning humans have participated in creating this biodiversity. From the level of genes to species to ecosystems and landscapes, diversity holds the key to ensuring healthy social and ecological systems. When the Europeans arrived, they dreamt that this country was a terra nullius, an empty land, a land devoid of people. The people of the Crocodile Islands, the Yanangu people, have started the Crocodile Islands initiative to enhance the biological and linguistic and cultural diversity for generations of tomorrow. For a world with the sustainable management of natural resources that will promote the health and well-being of all our people and islands. Support the Yanango occupation of their homelands on the outer Crocodile Islands. Tonight, 20 million Australians will dream in English, but only a few will dream in Yanango.